Born in 1958 in South China's Guangxi province, Huang Danian had an interest in geophysics from an early age. He devoted his life to science, making many sacrifices along the way, and eventually ended up going to the United Kingdom for further study in 1993. In 2008, China launched a national recruitment drive for the world's top talent, called the Thousand Talent Program, as part of its efforts to become an innovation-driven economy. It encouraged overseas Chinese and foreign professionals to work in China. Huang decided that this was his calling. He quit his job in the UK, sold his property and belongings, and returned home. I'm emotionally attached to my motherland. I think our country is in the process of developing, and it needs more people like me to devote to its construction. Wang was invited to be the chief scientist of China's biggest deep earth exploration program at Jilin University in Changchun. The program aimed to install high-tech cameras on aircraft, ships and satellites that would enable them to see through the earth's crust. But despite the benefits with underground mineral exploration and undersea detection, China was well behind the rest of the world in this area. China borders so many countries, which of course are reluctant to let you know what's been installed nearby. Wang's return has enabled China to make breakthroughs in such area. Huang got straight down to it, working day and night, and his efforts soon paid off. China narrowed the gap with the developed world in obtaining accurate data on deep earth exploration. And thanks to a number of devoted scientists such as Huang, China is becoming now a leading power in technology. However, in January of last year, at the age of 58, Huang died of bile duct cancer with tumors in his stomach and liver. A bright star of the sciences had fallen, leaving the world of science in grief. During his last days in hospital, Huang continued to answer his students' questions, assign work and write recommendation letters for his colleagues. But as some of his students said, Huang's passing was not a goodbye, as his spirit and words would always be with them. Rory Cohn, CGTN.